Welcome back. Well, job layoffs are quite common, including here in Michiana. But as this clip in the WND vault shows us, sometimes those layoffs can cause more questions for those companies than answers. They're, they're, they're telling us 150 to 200 jobs, but they're not giving us any guarantee for the future of the rest of the people out here. They won't give us any kind of answer at all, and we're really concerned about it. Those words from disgruntled employees at Goshen's Johnson Controls. The company plans to move 150 to 200 of its 2,000 workers to Juarez, Mexico to save money. Labor costs in Goshen are said to be 10 times higher than those in Juarez, Mexico. But in Juarez, Mexico, the average worker reportedly earns less than $1 an hour. Going to protect these jobs. Congressional candidate Tom Ward thinks incumbent John Heiler could have done more to prevent the move, but he admits officials at Johnson Controls wouldn't talk to him either. You know, we attempted to meet with the people at Johnson Controls, and they said no, they don't want to get involved. We met with the union people and offered whatever help we could. Uh, I'm sure that they. Have Goshen Mayor Max Chittister has been left in the dark as well. I've talked to uh, retired employees of there who were in the upper echelon. A matter of fact, that's how I found out about it. One of them, one Sunday morning in church, gave me the letter that came down to them, and uh, they were surprised at it, and, and nobody had really heard about it. I Meanwhile, employees here want answers about their pensions, about their futures. He avoids everybody now. You've gone up there as a group and tried to talk to people. What's he say? Nothing. <laughs> you have to make an appointment. Our luck was no better. Okay, thank you. He's in a meeting. We'll not be able to see you. Okay. Reporting from Goshen, Marta Watson, New Center 16. Well, it brings back a lot of memories. Not necessarily good ones, but uh, yeah, you know, it was uh, tough times. Uh, Marta Watson, by the way, it was great to see her and. Uh, now, Marta Elliott, you remember Roxy Elliott, worked for us for a while, and that was Marta's daughter who was here. Oh, wow. Has worked in media, and, uh, you know, uh, there's just so many faces there. Max Chittister, Tom Ward. Tom Ward lost the closest uh, congressional recount to that point in history. Oh, geez. To John Hyler, who became our uh, representative after Tom. So, really uh, interesting times. I, it's always fun to look back and see who all the people are and where they are now. I, and the one thing I always like too, and I know maybe this is a societal difference now, is people are so, out, they were so outspoken and talk yeah. about this. They were so uh, just like adamant, passionate about it. And sometimes it's hard to get people to talk on camera. It is, but I, I like think that. one of the biggest differences between then and now is that all of those people were expressing opinions through the media. Yeah. They'd all be on social media. You know, and that's that's the difference, really. I mean, you know, that's where they have that outlet. So. Where everyone has a voice. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.